All right, guys. Uh, this is Sean again. This time we've got uh, kind of excited about this one. While I was out shopping yesterday with the wife, uh, one of the places uh, sells some random spices here and there. Just you know, one of those like uh, I don't know if you ever heard of Ross, but they just sell overrun kind of stuff. And I happened to catch a sale on Blair's. Now it wasn't every single one, but it was four of them. Uh, one of them would be the Blair's Sweet Death, Blair's Jalapeno Jalapeno Death Sauce with Tequila, the original Death Sauce, and the Salsa de la Muerte with Chipotle. Uh, at three dollars and twenty-nine cents a piece. Well, uh, I hope I don't get in trouble for getting such a good deal on them, but. Pretty excited about it, so I'm gonna try all three of these. Uh, first, I'm gonna try is the Blair Sweet Death Sauce with mango. I'm not a big fan of uh, stuff with mango, but after uh, Neil's little uh, scobion with the uh, nashi pears, I'm you know kind of a fan of some fruit now. So, but I'm just not a big fan of of fruit in general. So. All right, of course, we got the uh, cool little skull. About to have a hell of a lot of them here. All right, Blair Sweet Death Sauce with Mango. Feel alive. Consistency looks really good. Um, I swear it almost looks like it has carrots in it, but let me read, uh, see what it says. Suggested uses wings, glazed fish, pizza, dipping sauce, burritos, cheeseburgers, or anything you desire. Ingredients vinegar, which I'm apprehensive about because. Being from Texas, I like tomato-based things, and living in North Carolina, there's a lot of stuff, you know, stuff based with vinegar, and just not a fan of the vinegar stuff. But let's see what we got: vinegar, corn syrup, honey, mango, passion fruit. Dying to try that one. Sugar cane, habanero pepper, carrots, modified cornstarch, tomato paste. I wish they would have switched the vinegar and the tomato paste. Uh, onion, lemon juice, salt, cayenne pepper. Ascorbic acid, allspice, garlic, cloves, and black pepper. Um, I'm surprised because on the little heat level that they got here, it shows the, uh, the sweet death sauce at the very bottom of the list as far as hot. It just says hot, and of course you got the extracts and the ultra death, which are up at the top. So, um, but it's got habaneros and cayenne, so this ought to be interesting. <clears throat> Shake her up. My luck, I'm gonna catch one of these and it's gonna have an open top on it. Ooh, that one's kind of loose. All right, consistency. I don't know anything about sauces with mango. Uh, it seems pretty thick. It's the bubbles falling down pretty quick, and I can see the carrots in there. Uh, it actually looks really, really good. It's got seeds in it, but not a lot. Um, <laughs> made with great karma, shake me. Shake some more. All right, let's give this bad boy a try. Of course, everybody's gonna love this. I got my baby spoon back this time. I'm gonna go with blue instead of pink. All right. Let's see what she smells like. Vinegar is the first thing I smell, so I hope it doesn't drown it out. I can smell something other than the vinegar, but I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's the tomato. I don't. I can't really smell any mango in it. Or the passion fruit. Um, yeah. I'm going to say vinegar and tomato paste is what I'm smelling. Got a little bit on my nose. Well, let's see what she tastes like. I don't want to come out. Oh. 
almost like it's got honey in it is what it kind of looks like once I pour it out. Um, looks like it might have a few chunks in it, but not bad. I'm not a fan of chunky stuff. Even though I'm chunky. Um, I swear it almost looks like it's got honey in it. But, it's all this. Look pretty tasty, so let's give it a try. Let's see how it fits in at the bottom of the scale. All right, <clears throat> not terribly hot. Um, being at the bottom, I kind of figure that. Of course, it's got a lot. You know, it's got a little bit of kick in it, but um, I taste something that's kind of sweet. I don't know if it's mango or passion fruit. Definitely got something sweet to it. Um, I bet that'd be good on a chicken. <clears throat> got a little bit of a chunk to it. Can't really quite tell what it is, but not like terribly, but uh, terribly bad. Um, I mean, it's already done well, peaked. Uh, the next one in line is the uh, jalapeno death sauce. So I'm not a big fan of stuff with jalapenos in it. So. We'll see how that goes. That'll be the next video. Um, for someone that can't take a lot of heat, I can see this being a good one. Um, got to, you know, definitely has some flavors, but again, I can't, I can't say it enough. I'm not a big fan of stuff with uh, vinegar, so I just, I don't know. It's hard to swallow a lot of stuff with a lot of vinegar. Um, definitely got some kick to it. Definitely tell the sweetness. It must be the sugar cane that I'm tasting. Um, I swear I taste that more than I taste the the mango and the passion fruit because I do know what mango tastes like, obviously, and I just I don't really taste it a whole lot. Um, I can definitely say it doesn't taste like the Scobion, but it's got a little bit of the sweetness, kind of, sort of like it, especially in the aftertaste. Um, so anybody that's looking for you know anything with you know a little bit of a kick with I mean, it, it says habaneros and cayenne, but it's not really, not really that hot. Um, nice little kick. Will I buy it again? Probably not. Um, but I, I can see having a barbecue and putting it on top, top of some chicken or maybe like some salmon or something like that. But not, I mean, not terrible. You know, not terrible at all. Uh, obviously, Blair's makes some good stuff, so you can't really go wrong with anything Blair's, at least as far as I know. Um, so yeah, uh, we got the sweet death sauce with mango, and of course on the side it's a, it just says sweet, and it definitely is sweet. Can't go wrong with it, especially at $3.29, wasn't going to pass that up. So here shortly we'll be doing the uh, jalapeno death sauce with tequila. So all you little kids out there can buy this stuff, trust me, ain't got enough in there you're going to get crap out of. So uh, we'll see you all soon, and happy burning.